Welcome to another episode of Adventure Sphere. Today I'll be covering William Nolan Bass, a man missing from Belmede, Texas. But first, become part of our family by subscribing to our channel, stay up to date by ringing the notification bell, and share our content to help spread awareness of how we can help recover missing loved ones free of charge. You never know who may see it, how hurt their heart may be if their family is incomplete, or how you may be a hero to them. Information shared in this episode is open source. The places I mention are shared with my blessing, so Willem can be reunited with his family, regardless who higher powers work through. The description box has our email address if you'd like to share insight on any cold case confidentially, know someone missing with a vehicle, and would like them featured on our channel and searched for, or to donate equipment. The video of Google Earth has a measurement from a starting point theory or known location and goes out to possible search areas. We focus on bodies of water within five miles from home, their last cell phone ping, last known location, and sentimental sites where water is deep enough to hide a vehicle. If an area has been heavily searched, we may expand the search area, but please keep in mind that accidents tend to happen closer to home. William Nolan Bass, then 87, is missing from Belmede, Texas. His last date of contact was October 21st, 2000. He was last seen in the vicinity of Highway 84 and Loop 340 in Belmede. He was heading toward Waco, Texas to have his vehicle inspected and purchase new tags. He never arrived at his destination and his vehicle's never been recovered. There were unconfirmed sightings of William for four days after his initial disappearance. His keyword initial. He was carrying a blank check to purchase his new, ta- uh, new tags, but he didn't have any additional cash or credit cards with him. William was driving a tan and brown 1977 Chevy Caprice Coupe. So it's a two-door Texas license plate C82MRB. The Limestone County Sheriff's Office is investigating. They can be reached at 254-729-3278. And C. William's birthday is October 27th, so just passed a few days ago, of 1912. He would be 110 years old today. He was diagnosed with high blood pressure. I am not worrying about it too much because usually like in around in our 40s or 50s, we develop essential hypertension, it's called. But with hypertension, you also want to make sure that you're drinking a lot of water. Your blood gets thick. So um, some agencies use his middle name as no- of Nolan to identify him. He was driving on Highway 84 and left his home at 9 a.m. He was a resident of Mart, Texas in 2000. It was, a, I think it said 16 miles to Belmede. Investigators believe he may have had a stroke and developed amnesia on the day he disappeared or was carjacked. On the 1940 census, it said he was born in Texas. His, he was living on Mount Antioch Road in Limestone, Texas. His parents were William B. and Sally Ora Bass. He had one sister, Betty Jane, and three brothers, Otis Lee, Jack, and Bobby Jean. He was married to Kathleen Golding Bass. She passed away six years before he disappeared and is resting eternally at the Prairie Hill Cemetery. Fun fact, the difference between a cemetery and a graveyard is that a graveyard has a religious building, a church of some sort, associated with the property. A cemetery does not. The weather that morning at 9 a.m. when he supposedly left was 67 degrees. The afternoon high got up to 72. It seemed to be a cloudy day. There was one brief rain shower, I think it was at 6 a.m., but then the bulk of the rain started at noon. Hopefully the clouds would have blocked some sun so it wasn't beating down on him when he was trying to see. 
but it could have also been too dark that he couldn't see the road very well and fell off, unfortunately. Um, so home 16 miles away is in Mart. I think we should search a lot of those bridges going over the Braslow's River. There is a specific point. The address showed as 8551 Woodway Drive. There is a pond of some sort on the way to Waco. I think it would have been on the north side then. Maybe the east. I can't remember the direction of the map here. But question, is that was the guardrail there in 2000? It looks pretty new to me. Here, I'm at it right now. Uh, so this looks rather new. Had it been damaged before and got replaced? I should zoom in here a little bit. Hopefully I will come on down. But it looks like this part here is all land and right there at the top middle section, little part, you can see the water there. So if his car did come off in this, I think it could have gotten through that brush right there. But depending on how full the water was there in 2000, it might have taken him into that pond right there. I want to look at it. And then after you get through Waco and keep going, if he did blackout or whatever, he might have gotten into Cloyce Creek, I believe it's called. But that is on the outer banks of Waco going away from home, away from Belmede. If we go back to our starting point in Belmede, we could also look at the Baller Basin, Marlin Branch, and then I think this is another point I wanted to look at. The address is 298 Texas 164. I think that one had water on the south side, if I remember right. And the, let's see, Tawakana Creek. And then there's another specific address I have. It's 1211 North Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard. That would be a good place to look as well. If you'd like to help William's family find their long lost father, please subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and ring the notification bell to receive progress reports. If you have a few cents for a cup of coffee or two, please consider donating through one of the links in the description box. It'll go toward sonar equipment and other necessities to help find Bill and other missing loved ones. The holidays will soon be upon us, and Although it hasn't been said to me yet, being reunited with their loved one is one of the greatest gifts a family could receive. One of our first 300 subscribers will win a free gift card, so be sure to subscribe if you'd like an opportunity to win. Immediate donation links are in the description. Kickstarter and GoFundMe campaigns are coming soon. The video will play so you can see the entire search area. If you see something I missed, please let me know by making a leaving a comment in the section below. Thanks for watching. Stay safe and remember that we love you.